I'm April Day Oak Pie, she, her pronouns, and I am the DGF Musical Theater Fellow. I decided to become a writer probably since I was like eight years old. So I grew up in a family of singer-songwriters. My mom was a part of a group, um, and then I have an older sister and an older brother, and we became a part of a singing group, and we would write songs. And because this was the 90s, we were writing songs that were like R&B, hip-hop combined. Um, one of my earliest memories of using songwriting was uh, when I was running for student council president, I decided to write a rap so that I could win president, and it worked. Middle school president won through a rap. Um, so I, I've always been a performer, and again, just being a part of the family that both sang, um, growing up in the church singing, and being songwriters. So many writers and uh, pieces of theater that have inspired me. Uh, one of my um, biggest influences has been Anna DeVere Smith. In addition to being a musical theater uh, composer, I also write solo shows and uh, just seeing her character work and how she utilizes these characters in that form of storytelling to really in, uh, invoke conversation around societal issues is something that has also inspired me. I also like to joke a lot. Um, and so I'm also just, you know, uh, always looking for ways to kind of use that form of storytelling, uh, but also highlight the beauty in, in the story of those that are sometimes overlooked or underserved or under misunderstood. So I really appreciate her. One of the most impactful uh, pieces of theater I saw as a young person, a ninth grader in high school, was a high school production of for colored girls who have considered a suicide when the rainbow was not enough. And I grew up doing like church plays, Mary and Joseph for the Christmas plays, um, it, but it was when I saw that piece um, and the depth of the stories being told, it kind of introduced me to wanting to explore my voice. So, I mean, it's in Suzaki Shange, so. Uh, but that was one of the most influential pieces that kind of set me on my journey of, of I am writing a piece called The Queens of Solomon, which tells the story of the 700 wives, all married to the one rich, wise king of their time, King Solomon. Now these ladies are extravagant in their fashion, um, quick-lipped, ready to cut. If you cross their imaginary battle lines, they will knock if you buck. Um, but underneath these queenly swipes and competitions, really it's about um, them trying to break free from the cyclical patriarchal rule that keeps them oppressed. Um, but you know, the personalities vary. Some are trying to be queen bees, some just trying to live their lives freely. Others are kind of trying to uphold the patriarchy. So we kind of take a look to see, can they unite together to overthrow patriarchal rule? It's like a combo of hip hop, R&B, gospel, mixed in and seasoned with some ancient sounds of Africa and the Middle East. So I'm a mom of three young children and I finding time to write can be challenging. So I find my best writing is done on Saturdays and Sundays if I'm not shuffling them off to one of their extracurricular activities. Um, on Saturdays and Sundays at a local coffee shop between 10 and 3, I just bang out as much writing as I can. And during the week, if I'm feeling really inspired and I just can't wait to the weekend, or I know that my weekend is booked, I will um, wait till around midnight to 2.30. Those are the golden hours for me. So those, and that could be in my room, that could be in uh, a closet where I'm hiding because I have night owls. All my children are night owls. This stuff, why are you still up? Um, so those are some of the places and the best times for me to get my, my best writing done. There are way too many musicals that are in rotation for me. Um, way too many songs that are in rotation for me. However, um, I'm always like, make me cry or make me dance. Um, so my kind of like 
get me all up in my feel song is Daddy Sung um, from Ragtime. It's just, I mean, Audrey McDonald, come on. It just, it just takes me there. Um, and then the first Broadway musical I ever saw was Aida and I freaking love uh, Strongest Suit because it is fabulous. It's a fashion show, it's fun. So I love that. Um, and then anything from The Wiz because it's kind of like 70s. I think I should have been a child of the 70s because I just love that groove.